All right, so history, charm, beautiful architecture, a strong sense of community. That's what the Mexican War Streets holds, and we're gonna go through and check it out right now. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Shane Woodworth. I'm the EXP Realty agent here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. If you're looking to buy, sell, invest, relocate to Pittsburgh, give me a call, text, email me. Uh, check out a, uh, the link in below, link below in the description, and uh, set up a Zoom call and go from there. All right guys, let's get on to the tour. All right, so starting out, we're gonna be in the Allegheny Commons Park, and it is absolutely gorgeous this morning. It's only about 45 degrees. It's, here, it's May here in Pennsylvania. Uh, in the Pittsburgh region, it's 44 right now. Uh, so you're taking a look at Allegheny Park, or Allegheny, Allegheny Commons Park. You got Lake Elizabeth right here with a beautiful bridge walking over it. And also have the city, um, uh, the National Aviary, which hosts about 500 different birds. Uh, it's a nonprofit indoor zoo here in the park. The best thing about Mexican War Streets that you're gonna see is it's so walkable. Um, so if you don't wanna, you know, if you're not dependent on your, on your vehicle, you don't wanna be dependent on your vehicle or, your, or, not, or whatnot, you can ride the bus. Got plenty of buses running all along the exterior of the War Streets here around the uh, perimeter of the War Streets, and it's extremely uh, bike friendly. A lot of people choose to walk to work because we're, uh, if, you can, if you can do it, you can walk a uh, short distance across the Allegheny River and into the city of Pittsburgh. And we have all kinds of uh, activities down there. You got the Children's Museum right here, Carnegie Science Center. You got both uh, PNC Park if you want to go see a pirate game, or you can also walk over to um, walk down to Acrisure Stadium if you want to see the Steelers play. So that's the gorgeous thing about about the Mexican War Streets is going to be it's you can walk to work basically. You can walk anywhere you want, take a uh, short bus ride, or you can take the uh, uh, the T, the underground subway system, which I believe is free um, in this area. So we're gonna go up to North Avenue. North Avenue is gonna be the southern tip of the Mexican War Streets. And then it's gonna go up to Jefferson on the north. And then it's gonna go from west side on Brighton to the east side is gonna be Federal. So we're walking on across, uh, walking along, along north right now, North Avenue. Morning, sir. How you doing? Right. Yeah, we're coming up on Monterey. We're gonna go north on Monterey after I check out. There's one little spot on the other side of this building, on the other side of the, on the other side of the YMCA. It's gonna be the inn on the Mexican War Street. It's absolutely gorgeous, and actually, it was for sale. Currently, or currently, I think it's under contract, but it was for sale. If you want to buy yourself a, I think it's a nine-room boutique hotel. It was for sale, for, I believe, it was around two million bucks. So we're gonna go across here, across the north, walk to the left here a little bit, so you guys can see the uh, the inn. So we're gonna hit some famous places, uh, famous for Mexican war streets. Some really well-known, beautiful building. Yeah, it's like a nine nine room boutique hotel. Absolutely gorgeous. And I got the uh, gimbal set to stay on the horizon, so I'm gonna pan up. That way you can see it right there. And so you can zoom in. The inn on Mexican War Streets boutique hotel. Fine dining, so you got your restaurants there too. So let's head back to Monterey and we'll head up Monterey so you guys can see some of the homes. Homes in are really, really one of their, uh, one of their pubs, the Monterey pub is supposed to be a fantastic place to go have a drink, have a plate to eat. So 
We got people walking in the YMCA here on the left, which actually has a CrossFit section too, if you're into CrossFit. So you don't even have to leave this neighborhood really for anything. Giant Eagle is right real close to it. Uh, there's a, a small market, which we'll probably walk by. Over on, I think it's on Arch Street. So it's only, it's eight o'clock on a Saturday morning. And being a little chilly, probably not gonna be a ton of people out, but the community here, is a really, really strong sense of community. Go ahead. Not going all right. Real, real strong sense of community in this area. They actually have their own website. And it's called uh, MexicanWarStreets.org. Great, great resource for you. And these houses, okay, so Mexican War Street homes are gonna be made up of row houses. A lot of them. Um, beautiful door, check out this door. Fantastic. So they're gonna be made up of uh, renovated row houses from the, the neighborhood started back in 1847, 1848. I'm not saying all these homes are that old, but really cool houses. The architecture here is beautiful. Get across the street. And these homes go anywhere from now, once they're renovated, they're gonna go from like 400 on up into the seven figures. A lot of them will have rooftop decks. And parking is kind of a premium around here. So a lot of it can be uh, permit street parking. I think we're coming up on the Monterey Pub here. On the left, so I'm paying over here to the left. See the Italian side or the Irish sign flag here. Um, so it was built, it's, uh, the neighborhood started in 1847, 1848, something like that. Monterey Pub, there we go. So, extremely popular place to come in, have a drink, get a bite to eat, meet your friends, watch some sports. Yeah, there's a house I know for sale. I think it's across the street. There it is. I think it's, it's in the upper 800s. Yeah, Open Sunday by Keller Williams. There we go, it's gonna be uh, one, two, three, four, Monterey. So let me get out of the sun right there. So you can see that row house there. Right there, that one's gonna be for sale right now. It's on the market. And you see there's Everybody has a stoop here, so it's pretty cool. So on those nice days in the summer, I think they have like stoop night. It's like on Thursdays, maybe something like that, where everybody will be out kind of hanging out in the neighborhood. They have a lot of events that come up uh, here in the neighborhood. So we're gonna make a right on Taylor. We're gonna head east on Taylor. Oh, you know what? I had a... Uh, had a uh, listing interview right down the street. All right, so it's very cool. Pink, pink and like a green turquoise color. So you can find these that are a little bit older and kind of need renovated. Uh, so a lot of investors will come in and and they'll they'll renovate the inside, make it real modern. But one thing about the War Streets is that it's governed by um, Historic Society of Pittsburgh. So anything on the exterior, pretty much you have to go through them, which means pretty much you're not gonna be able to really change anything per se. You might might be able to update, like uh, fix things, but you're not gonna be making the outside totally different because they want this charm, they want this architecture to stay the same, which I think is actually awesome and beautiful. But the insides of these homes, the ones that, the, that they come in and renovate, oh my God, they're amazing. Some of these ones, there's, I think there were about 10 that were for sale in the horse streets. I'll throw up some, uh, some photos of inside. There's a gorgeous one right here. Love this place. I just hit the wrong button on my camera. Sorry, guys. It's 
still trying to figure out this camera. And then the War Streets came out about, okay, like I said, three times already, 1847, 1848. And it was by the former uh, mayor of the city of Allegheny decided to divide this land up into lots and start selling off the lots. So that became the War Streets, Mexican War Streets, and they get its name from the Mexican American, Mexican American War that was happening. And the street names are going to be after battles, they're going to be after generals. So, for instance, the streets of Palo Alto, uh, Monterey, um, they, were, they were former battles that were going on. And then you have street names like Sherman um, and a couple of other ones that were named after generals. So street line, oh man, it's gorgeous walking through here, especially right now when there's nobody out yet. But I can tell you, once it starts warming up, you're gonna see people all over the place here walking around, because that's just what it is. It's home to a lot of artists. There's Palo Alto Street right here. It's home to a lot of artists, a lot of writers. And you're gonna see a place called uh, City of Asylum. So it's just a look down the street. So it's a little tight getting in and out, which is gorgeous. Beautiful day out today in Pittsburgh. I think this is the widow's the widow's home on the left. Like a, kind of like apartments. So we're gonna come to the end of the street. And we're gonna make a left up here and go down uh, Jacksonia. I'm not, I'm sorry, not Jacksonia. We'll be going down Simsonia, Samsonia. I believe City of the Asylum has a home on that. Yeah, here's a widow's home. So much history here. And now we'll talk about what a City of Asylum is when we go by there. And you're gonna to wanna to see the end. Apartments and townhouses. Okay, a widow's house, widow's home. You can see a lot of color, a lot of vibrant colors coming up. All right, let's make a left north here, and then we're gonna hit Sam Samsonia Way, which is a one-way road. We're gonna walk down the left side, or down the wrong way here. And then we'll go back to Jacksonia. I can't believe how quiet it is. I thought for sure people <laughs> be coming out. Uh, let's walk down to Alice This is Simpsonia. <laughs> really colorful green. 308 here. It's beautiful. I think this is a City of Asylum home right here on the right. Now, City of Asylum, what they do is they help out, they house uh, writers that have been exiled from exiled from their countries, from their home countries. Like for instance, the war in Ukraine right now, I believe there's like three writers here. And the City of Asylum founders decided to, to help people come here, give them some homes for a couple years and allow them to write in peace. Beautiful mural right here. This has to be one of their homes too. So they can take, uh, you know, still do their craft, still do their passion and safety. And they have, they have a restaurant, they have a building, that has a bookstore and a restaurant at the end that we're gonna see. Oh wow, nice terrace right here on the left above the garage. Beautiful closed door. I love, that. I love the wood, wooden doors. Yeah, so that uh, the building at the end that you're gonna see is called the Alphabet City. And that's where you can see the, uh, the artists perform poetry and writings and readings and musicians, they pigeon, sorry. So this is cool, this is an alley, but it just feels like, a, like it would just be a normal street. Oh, cool doors.
start when I'm walking and start singing songs. Very cool door. Beautiful arms. Got iron, wrought iron on the outside. Lots of other windows. 500 North Mural. Beautiful. Really cool. The secret place, Taylor Avenue. It's got it on the side, on the mural. And you can see straight ahead, there's the, uh, the main road. That would be Brighton. And across from there, it's going to be a gas station. So you're close to everything. If you need gas, you need to use your vehicle, which a lot of a lot of people who live here don't try to use the vehicle very much. So, all right. So here's the mattress factory. So the mattress factory is one of the museums around here that help artists out and display. I think they have like over 700 artists displays. And they have big, huge uh, displays in there, like room size displays. Really, really cool. Um, I've never been there. I've uh, just read about it and seen some things online about it. But down there, okay, you see the Valero gas station right there like I was saying there's a giant eagle that's really close if you need your groceries here's another row house for sale uh, it's by Remax so now we're back on Monterey oh excuse me now we're back on Monterey beware of tiggle butts wiggle butts right, I guess that's what it does so you got a free little library right here on the side of this one And right across the street at 1403 seems to be for sale by Remax. 1403. Let's see what that one looks like on the inside. We got little gardens here. So a little garden on the right. Alphabet reading garden. Very cool. Beautiful. You can come here and just read. Got a little uh, little benches set up. Looks like maybe place for, uh, for someone to stand in the middle and read to everyone. Free admission, very cool. So a lot of the programs they have around here are free. Uh, the free activities. So we're at Jacksonia in Monterey, and here's the mattress factory again. One of their buildings. So let's go up. We're gonna go over a block. I want to show you probably their most famous, well, not most famous. There's there's a few coffee places and tea places. There's restaurants, there's a, there's a vegan restaurant, but one of the uh, more popular coffee places right down here on the corner is gonna be Commonplace Coffee. Like the turquoise. Turquoise trim is really nice on this one. Beautiful colors. I mean, they're not just all bland and, and brick, you know what I mean? Red brick and stuff like that. But people add their own touches. You got white and black here on the left. If my gimbal will go, there we go. White and black there. Gorgeous. I'm a big fan. Tell me what you guys think. You guys like black? Black trim on homes? I absolutely love it. Especially the. Uh, so there's commonplace right there. Over on the corner right there, you got commonplace and then you got a mechanics garden right across the street. And so right here, you're gonna have, I wanna walk right over to the coffee place. People are sitting outside minding their own, enjoying their day so far. On Buena Vista and uh, Jacksonia is gonna be commonplace coffee. And a very beautiful, cool little garden right here. I keep hitting the wrong button. Sorry about that. You can go in and enjoy your coffee right here. They have activities that happen in that cool little garden. They'll have, you know, they'll have things that happen every week. Uh, free activities, come out and, and learn about different things. You know how, you know how to plant. Uh, they'll be working on their, I think it's called like uh, plant and weed or, or 
or wine and weed, I think they have there every once in a while during the week where it's you, you come there and you learn about plants and whatnot. I thought it was something different, but until I started reading about it on uh, on, on MexicanWarStreets.org, and then I figured out it was actually real plants, not, not talking about weed. <laughs> All right, so let's switch you back around and stop looking at my mug. So we're going up Jacksonia, we're going east. Got one of the mattress factories building right there on the corner. So like I said, there's, there's some really, really good resources uh, that you can come, you can read about, about the, uh, about the neighborhood. That just tells you right there, they have a board executives and, and whatnot that that help run this not run the neighborhood but you know that uh, help organize things they have house tours and garden tours uh, in the winter you can go through and, and learn about other view other people's homes good morning how you doing living the dream a beautiful mural right here Nice little park, little walkway up. So yeah, they have uh, house tours. There's a home tour coming up. Who is this one by? Sorry. Sprout. Oh, it's cool. Really beautiful mural down here. Tasteful too, you know. Um, so here's a look down Jacksonia. So they have home tours. I think they have a home tour coming up this summer where you walk through your neighbors' homes. Anybody who wants to participate anyway. Home tours. In the winter, they'll have uh, holiday uh, decorating. So you can come through and, and walk through everybody's homes that have their houses decorated for the holidays and whatnot. All right, so we're Jacksonia and Garfield. Sorry about the sun. I'll pan off to the right. That's the parking lot, I believe, for another one of the mattress factories buildings there. Uh, they have, in the fall, they're going to have obviously like the Halloween party. They have a garage sale, which is coming up in June. Or I'm sorry, not a garage sale, a yard sale, which is coming up in June. Oh, wow. I'm going to walk across the street and look back on this one. Really, really like this one's got a little balcony on it. Beautiful black wood door and the front door. The man door to the one next to it, that's really gorgeous too. I wonder if that's all one. Because I got a garage door here in front of me and then just the man door on the right with the stoop. Really, really beautiful. Painted the, uh, the block foundation black. Kind of like an off-white brick, it's gorgeous. So you see, I have all these bricks, and then all of a sudden you have one. You have one that's stone straight ahead, like a stone brick. Walking right into the sun, walking east. It's the morning. It's gorgeous morning. Really pretty houses. <laughs> the dinosaur statue. Very cool. So quiet and I love it. I thought for sure people would start to get out, uh, <laughs> would come out and be walking around right now. Everybody's still kind of doing their thing, getting their coffee this morning, hanging out maybe over at the park. Where they'll have, you know, they'll have events there. They'll have some music events and stuff uh, down in the park. They'll have people, you know, doing their thing down there by the aviary. So there are some that, that seem to be uh, for sale, which you could flip. If you're into that, you definitely have to put some money into it for sure. I'm talking a few hundred grand. So there's Sherman Way, or sorry, Sherman Avenue off of Jacksonia. Cross here. 
keep you out of the sun a little bit because we got uh, Randy Land coming up on the left. And Randy Land is a very cool place. It's like an artist uh, kind of museum uh, showcasing, I think Randy and his significant other back in like 96 bought a couple of old buildings. And uh, they're, really, they're artists. So they decided to fix it up. Good morning, sir, how you doing? What's up, buddy? So they decided to fix these up and do a, uh, take kind of old stuff that's beat up and whatnot and make it beautiful again. And it's just very colorful, very vibrant. Really cool place. I believe it's free. So just the colors here are amazing. Really cool place to go and uh, yeah, it looks like you can walk right in. Just absolutely gorgeous. You know, you take something that's, that's ugly and beat up and you make it beautiful. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of what the worst roots are about. It's keeping everything beautiful. Restoring old, significant homes. So here's a couple so right now we're on Arch Street. So we're gonna head down Arch Street. So you see one I actually got away with a modern look on the outside. Um, up in there. Which I'm kind of surprised to see down here. And you got ones that are being restored. Right across the street you got, you know, this one's gonna be gorgeous I think right here. Really cool home. Big red doors out front, red trim with a red brick accent. Oh man, built in 1877. Almost looks like it would be like a fire department. All right, so let's head down Arch Street. So if you need to go and you need to pick something up real quick from the store and you don't want to run over the Giant Eagle, um, there's a place down here, a little shop, a little market. Look at this door here, pretty man. There's a market down here you could, uh, you could stop by and just pick up something real quick. On Arch Street. And then we're all, we'll end it here coming up. After we get down back down towards North Avenue, I want you to see the uh, Alphabet City real quick. Doing some home repairs here, doing some remodeling. Small and smaller units. Oh, the Mayfly, Mayfly Market in Delhi, right there in the corner. That's what I was talking about. If you need to pick up something real quick, maybe, uh, maybe some milk or whatever, you know, maybe a couple drinks. All right, let's head over to Samsonia Street here. And we'll head over towards uh, Federal. So Federal is going to be the east end. Uh, of the Mexican War Streets. Definitely got some trees along here. But they do a nice job, they just trim these up. They'll probably come by and clean them, I would think. A little bit of work here, a little bit of renovating. All right, coming up on Red Hour. Taco truck, baby. I don't know if you guys have ever eaten tacos off of a truck. Sometimes it sounds kind of scary when you think about it, but my lord, I lived in Los Angeles and I was a cop. Worked for the sheriff's department. That was like, honestly, probably one of the, I got a Baptist church right here. That was probably one of the, my favorite parts of the night was when I heard one of my partners say, hey, you want to go get some tacos from the taco truck? Yeah. Absolutely. After that first time, you definitely want to get tacos. They're probably some of the best tacos I've ever had. Came off of a taco truck in Los Angeles at 1, 1 in the morning. So when I see taco trucks, it just brings back memories. Like <laughs> really, really positive memories. Now it's tough to see because of the sun, but over the row houses right here, there's a building up, up behind it. That's Allegheny General Hospital. So you're close to hospital, you're close to the stadiums, 
Stage AE, so now we're on Federal. This is Federal and Samsonia, we're gonna head south. You got Stage AE for your concerts, indoor and outdoor. You got Extra Stadium for the Steelers and also a huge concert venue. You got PNC Park, which is obvious. Pittsburgh Pirates, they're not very good, but they got probably the best stadium in all of Major League Baseball. It actually was voted, I don't know if it's number one or towards the top, as one of the best stadiums for your experience. It's beautiful there. It's only like, what, 10 years old, something like that. You can walk down to all the bars right there. You have the Children's Museum, Carnegie Science Center. You have all these different museums. You got Randy Land right here. You have Mattress Factory, City of Asylum. So if you're into, you know, kind of artsy stuff or going to museums and being entertained like that, the Mexico War Streets has a lot to offer. And as you can see, it's really quiet. This is a Saturday morning at 8.30 now, I think it is, something like that. Yeah, if you want your beer, you got your beer distributor right there. And here's a professional building behind me. Ah, the Starbucks coming up. Morning guys, how you doing? All right. Everybody here seems pleasant so far. You know, we got hook and fish, uh, hook fish and chicken. We fry fresh fish. So you got all kinds of these little restaurants popping up everywhere. We got Carmi Express. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks amazing. Some chicken quality soul food. There we go. I'll tell you what, if their food tastes as good as it looks, it's gonna be pretty damn good. So this is gonna be kind of their, um, not professional area, but you know what I'm saying. It's got the, the all the restaurants. It's got here's the Alphabet City coming up here on the right, and then you have New York hot dogs across the street, Apotheca, Pauline's, Caribbean Soul Cuisine. You got Broadway Pizza, Broadways, Badmans, Badams. I can't read it from here. I need to get glassed. Best hot dog in town, JR Coffee Shop, the dog with a special touch. Batamos Pizza, that's what it is. Batamos Pizza, El Bureau, Mexican restaurant. You got everything going on here. And the building on the right is gonna be Alphabet City. You got Yin's, Yin's Coffee on the left. So this is gonna be all the district with all the, uh, all the restaurants, stuff like that. We're coming back down towards the park, Federal of the North. Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing? All right, we got Starbucks here on the right, and we're gonna go across. I just blew through the red light, that's cool. There's four north, six north, garden theater. So more and more people are starting to come out. Across the street at the park, you're gonna have that aviary, National Aviary right there. And then the Children's Museum is going to be south of that. The Garden Theater, Retail Restaurant, Office, Build the Suit. Okay, here's Alphabet City. So this is one that has the bookstore, has the restaurant. You can see uh, jazz poetry and stuff. They have a lot going on in there. Uh, the, the restaurant, actually, I was looking at the menu last night. It's, it's on the pricey side. It's like... 40, 50 bucks a pop for, for dinner, but they also have brunch and uh, and some other, but they have some like really different things. Like I love fishing, I love trout fishing. I've never seen somebody have a, uh, a rainbow trout dish. So I'm interested, one of these days I'm gonna have to come up here. Now Alphabet City, if you look at, really cool, you look at these, at these railings, you're gonna see all these different letters and symbols. These are all alphabets. So what they do is when they have the writers come from different places, different countries, and they'll come here and they'll perform or they'll read or maybe they'll come for the city of asylum and they're you know they're doing their thing and they've been exiled. So they're living in exile or whatever. So they come here 
and City of Asylum. This is 40 North Restaurant and Bar. 40 North Restaurant and Bar. I'm not sure if you heard that with the bus going by. But they'll have they'll have the artists write up their own their native alphabet. And then they decided they've they've decorated decorated the building all over the place. You're gonna see signs of those alphabets. It's really cool. Even the ceiling tile on the inside has uh, has been decorated by locals and by artists and stuff with their with the alphabets. So it's it's just interesting to see. You know, it's it's that sense of community that brings everybody together. They make everything beautiful. No, that's just a really really cool place. Personally, I need a yard, and that's why. I don't live down here, plus it's extremely expensive, I'm not going to lie, to live down in these homes unless you can find a really good deal and fix it up yourself maybe. But it's not cheap down here for sure, and plus you're in Allegheny County, so the taxes are a little high. Cool tour it. Coming up on that building up here on Arch Street. So you got another church right here. So we passed the Baptist Church uh, back on, I think it was Jacksonia. sure what church this one was or is. I don't see any signage. I have to. There we go. Sorry, I had to do a little bit of a thumbnail. That was a cool picture. Plus, you got your excavator in the background. <laughs> so just another look, guys. We'll just walk across the street here real quick so I don't get hit by a car and get it on camera. So you got National Aviary right there. Down at the end of, uh, of Arch Street into the park. The park's pretty big. You know, the, the total area of the Mexican War Street, it kept growing from 1848. It's expanded a few times. I believe the last time was in the 1980s, it might have been, or it might have been 2008, I can't remember, uh, but they do keep expanding it, and uh, it's up over over 50 acres now, it's like over over 400 homes or buildings that are that are part of, of this historic society here in Mexican War Streets, so it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous, you know, uh, hopefully you guys thought the same, at least found interest in, in the walking tour here, so there's the National Aviary right there very cool building so guys I, I really enjoyed walking this I hope you guys did too hope you got a little bit of value out of this uh, once again if you're looking to buy sell invest relocate to the city of Pittsburgh uh, please give me a call text email me or one of the best things is probably just to, to set up a zoom you can do that through email just email me and we'll set it up or I should have a link in the description uh, from my Calendly link to go ahead and set that up so we can talk about your move and try to see if we're a fit with each other. Uh, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time on the next video, maybe the next neighborhood or a home tour or something. Keep real estate.